Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through what is URL. So even if I ask you, what is the full form of URL? The first thing is, your question will be, does URL will be having any full form? That will be your question, right? Okay. So basically, URL has a full form. Sorry guys. Okay. So the full form is nothing but uniform resource locator. So from the name itself, it is clear. So it is locating something uniform resource. It is it is showing some resource or it is locating some resource that is the objective of the URL. So whenever you whenever your say, your friend says that I have just saw a movie, you'll be asking him what is the URL to book the tickets. You'll be saying URL URL every day we will be using at least once or twice we'll be using the word URL guys. I'm sure about that. Okay. So URL is nothing but uniform resource locator. So basically what does this URL has? So if you have a close look, just go to your chat and you, you check that what does the URL have? So it will be having the, in this format guys, it will be having the protocol that it is using HTTP or HTTP, sorry, HTTPS. After that, you'll be having two slashes, colon, colon, two slashes, colon, colon. Here you will be having the website name www.google dot com www.google.com so basically this is your protocol that you are using this protocol says that you are collecting that is nothing but http what is the full form guys we have discussed previously it is nothing but hypertext transfer protocol so you are transferring the hypertext files that is nothing but the html css javascript like the Website files you are transferring them into your system or you are downloading them into your system You'll, They will not be stored anywhere, but you are just collecting them. That's it. Okay, so that is the use of this So whereas if you are running a server and you are transferring files from one server to another server here You will be following a protocol called FTP Okay Similarly, if you are running a mail server mails will be having Gmail and all those things, right? So even when you are you are a owner of a company and you are having your own company, so you will be saying that some even some colleges will be having their at the rate company name dot com instead of gmail dot com. So there they are having their Gmail servers. Those are nothing but email servers, not Gmail, email servers. So those servers use mail two guys. Mail two is the protocol that they use to mail to their corresponding recipients. Okay, okay. So this is introduction about the initial protocol sorry initial protocol what it is doing doing after that we will be having the common domain name with the top level extension that is nothing but dot com is for commercial dot in is for india dot us is for us dot pk is for pakistan dot org is for non organ non profitable organization things so and you will be having dot gov for government websites in that way so these are some top level extensions or you can even say top level uh, subdomains okay okay so after this you will be having one more thing you'll be having a slingle slash and sometimes you'll be having till here only so this indirectly indicates that slash index.html guys okay so this is nothing but the home page for any website you will be writing the code in this page only index.html please remember that because whenever you're doing a web programming sorry in whenever you're doing web projects like web based projects you will be writing your first home page code in index.html only because that is the index file the first page of your website will be this so assume that you are searching for some kind of notes in our website or anywhere okay so assume that you are searching semester 3 notes and the subject name is wp let us assume the same subject okay let us make it 600 then directly 6 and the subject is wp so indirectly this says that the path so inside the website storage there is a folder or directory with the sem6 inside the directory we are having wp so this is the folder path you can say url path also okay so we will be defining all these things in theoretical aspects guys okay so basically url is nothing but unified resource locator uniform or universal resource locator so instead of uniform universal is better guys universal resource locator so among everything it will be locating a particular thing or use it to identify the documents that those are nothing but resources on the internet there are many different kinds of resources identity identified by different forms of urls so if you open google.com and educationforfund.com both the 
websites will be different they, they both are not same right so in, in the same way there are some n number of websites all are different with their own respects aspects okay so first let us go through url formats so all urls have a general format that is nothing but schema object address so schema is nothing but what protocol it is doing and object address is nothing but the rest of the part okay so the schema is often communication protocol yeah that's what i was saying the protocol that they are using so common schema protocols are http this is used for html files transfer ftp is normal file transfer okay gohpr i don't know about this okay that's also a protocol telnet is used for communication between two devices file mail to is used to mail and news okay so these are few protocols and the popular one or which we will be using mostly is http while creating websites guys because http protocol supports for web this protocol is used to request the hypertext markup language or you can say extensible hypertext markup language guys we will be discussing about this also don't worry okay so documents in this case http the form of object address will be after http you will be using this http colon slash slash okay sorry i think so it should be colon slash slash right sorry my bad it should be colon slash slash www dot okay sorry for that colon slash slash the website name and this is the website name with the domain name top notch domain name and at the end you will be having the path to document so i told you right in semester 6 folder we are having wp inside that we are having the files so similarly here also url path is nothing but the path to the directory so that's what we will be discussing now here the path of document for the http protocol is similar to the path of the file so i told you right the path in which the file is located that is nothing but the url path directly in the file system of the operating system and is given by a sequence of directory names and file names all separated by whatever separator character that the operating system use basically we will be using slash in windows for linux servers the path is specified with the forward slash yeah and even in unix also we will be using that only for windows system it will be okay here we will be using forward slash and for windows it will be used with backslash okay so the path in the url can differ from the path to the file because the url need not include all the directories of the path so basically for some security reasons most websites do not show this kind of paths guys because the hackers can di directly identify the path in which they need to go and they can directly attack onto the server and they can grab some important crucial data so that is the reason why most of them will not be included and few directories will be hidden so a path include all the directories along with the way is called complete path if there is everything included in the path it is called as complete path in most cases the path to the document is relative to the some base path that is specific in the configuration of the file so basically according to the according to the requirements they will be modifying it guys so if you take a small example http is our protocol and this is our domain name and this is our top sorry this is our www that's nothing world wide web this is our domain name with the extension of a com that is nothing but commercial use in files we are having f99 folder inside that we are having the storage store font.html so this is the file name so this file will be opened directly in this location it is located in this location so i hope everyone got a clear idea about the url now so this is how you will be checking the url so even for youtube videos everything will be formatting like this so basically for youtube after this you will be having some random values right so those random values are nothing but the characteristic code for a particular video so try updating the code of this you if you are so lucky you can you might find some other video uploaded by someone else or you might not be getting there is no video found or a video missing like that okay so this characters will justify whether the video is there or not and if it is there it will show else it will be saying video not found okay so if, you, if possible please try it so that we'll be having a clear idea okay so i hope everyone now got a clear idea on url okay that is nothing but universal resource path or uniform resource path okay so in the next lecture we will be starting with okay so we will be going through the mail sorry multi purpose internet mail extension so basically whenever you hear the word mail the only protocol that we remember is smtp there there's are there are some drawbacks in smtp that is the reason why this mime that is nothing but multi purpose internet mail extension has come so we'll be discussing this in detail about in the next lecture so let us meet in the next tutorial thank you thanks for watching